Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Um, I'm taking part in a collab, but I'll let you know about a few things about that in just a couple of minutes. As you can see, I'm putting these items up here, a chalkboard, some foam plates, yarn, a shower curtain, and some stickers. From These are all from the Dollar Tree and then a placemat. Now, the way this goes is there is six of us and we all picked an item that was very was very available in all Dollar Trees. We all picked a different item and now we are having to craft with these items. Now, I was felt really happy and surprised that everything I found pretty much goes together. The color scheme, the things that didn't, I could make them the color scheme. So here I am, I'm taking these, uh, mm -hmm. well first of all you saw me when I was cutting the, the placemat to go along with that um, wire wreath from the Dollar Tree, it's an 18 inch. And now I'm taking the shower curtain and I'm cutting them into 8 inch squares. Um, and I'm just using my rotary uh, cutter. Went right through them. Super, super easy. So no problem there at all. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm folding the corners and scrunching up the center. And then I'm going to fold it and use wire. And I'm just going to wrap it around mm -hmm. there so that I have... A way to put these um, little uh, shower curtain poofs on the uh, wreath form and I'm going to do a few and then I'll show you how I um, hooked it on and then I kind of lost the footage how I did it the rest of the time but it was pretty much the same as the first time and just went all the way around some of the sections are bigger than others so um, some of them I had to put more um, little uh, clumps on and you can see I'm just wrapping around the um, the bottom the the most inner side um, piece because I want it completely covered because I didn't think I was going to have anything else that would go around it I do have another shower curtain from Dollar Tree that is just white and I could have used it but I chose um, this turned out just full as could be so and now I'm going okay so this is a little tool that I got when um, I used to be doing a lot of scrapbooking and they cut holes and so I'm just gonna go around and cut a hole and you just pound it and I'm just going around in the circle to get this all holes. I mean, all the holes. Then I grab a darning needle and some uh, baker's twine. You can see how pretty that uh, dollar, uh, the shower curtain fits. It looks so pretty. So I'm putting the baker's twine on my needle and then I'm going to flip this over because I want it on the underside. Now because it wasn't completely big enough around, I'm going to have some gaps um, that I'm going to have to take care of and you'll see what I end up doing um, once I get this all sewn on more or less. I'm just going around tying, going around tying and it holds it really good. So as long as I don't pull too tight because one I did and it pulled right through the hole. And I was like, okay, well, it's going to stay there because I can't take everything off to re-put another hole on it. So, like I said, I'm just going around sewing it. All right, so this is done, and I'm looking at it. Now I grabbed the yarn, so that's one of the other items. And I grabbed um, a crocheting needle, and I'm just going to crochet a <laughs> chain long enough to go around. And then I'm going to do two rows or three rows of single single crochet. I'm going to use this mm -hmm. um, to cover up that uh, gap because I definitely wanted that uh, gap to be uh, covered. So 
here I am just kind of finishing it all up. I'm going to uh, mm -hmm. get that all completely uh, covered. And this is really super soft, soft um, yarn. I've been crocheting for over 40 years, so it was easy for me to do this. If anyone wants to learn how to do this, learn how to crochet, you can let me know in the comments, and I will put a tutorial up on my new channel, and that is down in my description box. Okay, so here I'm taking this, and um, I sewed the ends together, and I'm just going to glue it around, and that makes this look perfect. There's no raw edges, no gaps. Okay, so back to, if you go down to the description box, it's going to have the... Um, Actually, I should tell you about this uh, uh, collab, but I will tell you down in the description box is my um, new channel's name. Well, it's my link, and you can go there and see. I've only got a few uh, videos. I've had a really busy summer, and so I need to get that done. But in just a second... I will show you what I ended up, uh, what this challenge is all about. As you know, it has to do with uh, Dollar Tree items. So as you can see, this really turned out really pretty. And it's hard to tell that uh, it was a shower curtain. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's plastic if you get close to it, but you can't tell it's a shower curtain. So I really like this item. Um, I thought it was very, very, very pretty and just a cool idea and this is it as it's as it's finished okay the collaboration i'm taking part in is called she did what and this is the because we picked some odd items and we're showing what we can do with these um, odd items now the um host is chantelle from uh crafty hints and we also have um Jackie from uh, Mimi's World, Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY, Fabi mm -hmm. from Arrows DIY, and we also have Lynn from Hot Mess and Hot Blue. So let's get back to this. Okay, so the items that I haven't used yet is the chalkboard, the styrofoam plates, and the stickers so i'm taking some of these styrofoam plates and i'm cutting the bottoms out of them and then i'm going to use my little square and i am using my uh uh yeah my blade and i'm getting them fairly square they're not perfect and it's okay i just wanted them square because i'm going to trim them once i get them hooked together now i did have an i one idea how what to do with these and the last minute i changed my mind so um like i said i'm just getting these all cut and then i'm going to use my hot glue and i am going to straighten the edges now i cut four of these and um then i'm going to glue them all together and there's my peanuts my husband brought me so i had to share those with you Okay, so I'm going ahead and I'm going to use the hot glue and I'm going to get them all glued. And you can see they're not the same size. And that's okay because of, I'm going to trim it and make it even. So I'm go ahead and get those all glued very easy. I'm going to flip them over and use some craft sticks. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to um, strengthen up them up. And... Um, so that you can, you know, get them all nice and strong. Because you want them strong. Okay, so now I'm trimming it. So, um, it's all completely uh, perfect lines. And then I'm going to draw um, lines across it to make it look like a shiplap. And then I'm going to grab my um, 
uh, my antique wax and then black and I'm going to dry erase it but first I'm going to paint this now I just painted it mm -hmm. white now I did get some paint on the chalkboard but I've learned through my art net my nail art that I use acrylic nails or acrylic paints mm -hmm. on my nails and um, if you get any acrylic paint anywhere you don't want you use rubbing alcohol and it takes it right off. So that's what I, I don't know if you can really see. My hand keeps covering it. Mm -hmm. But um, I was able to get all of that off and you can't see it at all on there. Then, um, once this is dry, then I am going to uh, go back and finish the shiplap. And... Um, I mean, like I said, I got my old chippy brush and I've got some antique wax. There's my tea my husband brought me. So I got my, my peanuts and my tea. And I'm just kind of dirtying this up, making it look like an old weathered mm -hmm. uh, wall. And I thought when I got the brown done, I was like, ah, this isn't quite what I want. So I grabbed the black and that's what really dirtied it up and made it look, you know, the way it was. Now... I'm taking these um, uh, stickers. Now, they're the perfect color, so I don't have to color them. And I'm just putting them right around the chalkboard, like a um, frame for the chalkboard. And then, I once I get that done, then I am going to uh, grab that and just hot glue it right on there. And then... I'm going to get some more craft sticks and I'm going to cut them and I'm going to use the antique wax and I'm going to uh, antique wax those and I'm going to put them around the outside of the whole the shiplap look to finish off that look so it doesn't look like styrofoam and I'm just trimming it up and getting them all done it's really super simple I'm just going to hot glue these on and it ends up looking really cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to end up putting a jute um, hanger on this. So like I was saying before, don't forget to check out the description box. It's going to have all of our uh, channel links as well as the playlist link. Um, and don't forget, if you are new here, I'm so glad you're here. If you're not, hey, if you've been around a while, I'm so glad you can't stop by. But if you're new here and you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If you hit it twice, you can click the all. And you can, um, you'll be notified of all my uh, videos. Plus, you can also hit the, uh, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment. I love them. Okay, mm -hmm. now I grabbed, I, I went over and I used my Cricut and I cut out the word welcome and I am just weeding it and then I'm using um, uh, contact paper and uh, transfer tape, tape actually and I'm just going to put this on there. Uh, I didn't defuzz it. The, the transfer tape enough so I was having a little bit of issues but not many so I hope you guys really like this don't forget to check out everybody else in this collab um, I had a blast making all these things um, I like being challenged and I realized I forgot those little holes so I filled them real quick that's white I just left it didn't worry about it I hope you guys really like these projects, mine, as well as all of the other um, women that is in this collaboration. And um, don't forget to uh, have a, actually, don't, it's not don't forget, it's have a blessed um, week and be the Bible somebody reads today. Bye.